want to make sure to peel the frick out of our, uh... We're gonna E in here, maybe get a nice little value. I think our Rivet, our Jinx should also die. Let's go, boys! How's it going, guys? It's Soul here. Now, you guys have asked for it. You guys wanted it. You guys voted. Today, we have a live commentary video for you guys, and I'm facing the Fizz matchup, which is one of the hardest Aurelian Soul matchups in the game. So, hopefully, we can get this nice little dub for you guys and show you how exactly to play the Fizz matchup. Um, now, again, I have not done one of these videos in quite a long time. It's been, like, probably like a month. So, honestly, really excited to start up again and give you guys these live commentaries commentaries because it seems like you guys enjoy this now of course first off we're gonna start this q bomb down mid get a nice little stun onto blitz crank can we kill him though okay that was huge this is exactly why you want a q bomb down mid because you can get easy cheeses like that now we did get first blood but we had to burn flash ignite so it kind of changes how we play the lane just a little bit i think what i'm gonna go ahead and do is actually opt out for a doran's ring usually i would actually go seal if i get first blood but i don't know i've been going doran's ring a lot lately when i get first blood and it feels kind of better just because of the five extra physical damage to minions also you get a little bit more extra health so that's a little bit more survivability um let's see if it ends up being worth though now again this is the fizz matchup uh the fizz matchup how you want to play the wave is waves one through three you want to keep autoing try to get as many autos as possible because once this guy hits level three uh you're not gonna have a fun time let's just say that so let's go ahead and slow fish this wave now, the thing with this matchup is, as you saw, I just threw a Q and he instantly E'd. Uh, that's usually how it goes, but I'm pretty sure your Q is a slightly lower cooldown than his E. So maybe if he walks up here for a minion, I can cheese a little auto just like that. Looks like this wave is going to crash onto on wave two, possibly. Now, we have to remember that we have no flash and the enemy team definitely knows that. I'm going to actually just look for a crash here just to be safe. And we're gonna get a nice little raptors ward just to get some information from the jungler to see exactly where he's pathing as you can see i ping him out he's on vision he has a blue buff so which means he probably went full clear topside into bot and again we don't have flashing knight usually honestly you would look for a solo kill on the, in the early levels of this matchup but since i don't have flashing knight i just kind of want to sit back kind of just bait him Taking really good trades right now. Um, we saw that uh, volley is bot side, so I'm gonna go ahead and ping that out for my team here. Kind of just wanna get a crash in soon. Maybe look for a roam. Now, the reason why this matchup is so tough is because of Fizz's level six. Because once he hits level six, he pretty much can just all in you in one shot if you don't have flash. But there's actually a trick to it. Hopefully, I can show it off in this game. Again, it's a melee matchup. We see volley. I'm just going to eat out of the wave here. I have no flash, so I didn't want to risk dying. So honestly, just eating out sometimes is just the play. I get a nice little trade here as well. And we're at 680 gold. Make sure to ping up Mayas. You never want to give kills to Fizz. And I think I just want to get a crash here and then instantly reset. Maybe grab a boots and a seal, possibly. And just going to cue the cannon. The wave is going to crash and it's going to slow push back to me, which is exactly what I want. I think I'm actually going to opt out for boots and seal and a pink ward here and just cue out a base. Usually on ASO, you want to rush Rylai's first in most matchups. But in my opinion, uh, against lanes like the Kiana, like the Fizz, um, you really want to rush crown first. Uh, this is especially good versus the Fizz because if Fizz R's you when you have crown up, it literally is going to do zero damage and you can't even full combo. That's another reason why you want to go crown. Just a general all I have is crown versus assassins, everfrost versus squishies like mages like a victor, and leandries versus comps that build a lot of extra health. Again, this matchup is pretty much just playing around uh cooldowns. Let's go make sure to call my Mize here. Don't know exactly where Fizz is. Fizz is top side, we see on the map. So the only thing we can do for our Kiana here is just shove this wave and make sure that he misses it. Wow, can I actually live through that gank, by the way? Kind of insane. And then maybe we can actually look for a play here. Remember, guys, you do not want to flip roams. I think a lot of players, or at least some players, would have just instantly matched Fizz here, but I just grab a plate. I'm going to let this wave a slow push back to me, and I'm actually going to E top here. Uh, let's see what happens here. If I can uh, help this guy out, that'd be nice. I think I'm just gonna R them away and instantly flash out. Honestly, kind of my mistake. Maybe Zed, uh, Zed would uh, pick up Fizz here. Oh, 
Okay. I think he should be dead. That was an interesting turn of events, but ends up being a little worth. I'm just going to fix count his wave here. I don't think I can get a plate. Actually, I think I can greed for a plate. I saw that they took dragon, so I'm just going to grab this plate. I know that most of the other team is bot side. Kiana's going to overtake mid, and I'm not going to touch this wave because I actually want this wave to slow push back towards Kiana. So I'm going to ping that I'm going to go back mid. His wave is slow pushing toward for him. I'm just going to leave this wave for him. Leave a nice little juicy cannon. He's also going to do the same for me. So good wave manager by the team here. I think I think I want to opt out for Sork Shoes first into a Kindle Gem for that extra health for more survivability. We're currently 3-0, so this is definitely our game to carry this game. Now, again, guys, this is exactly how you want to play with the Fizz matchup. You want to dominate the lane, waves 1 through 3, look for Roma opportunities, and he's level 6 now, so despite me being ahead, just remember, guys, it is Fizz. Ship's a little bit broken sometimes and uh, can definitely one-shot you even when behind, so make sure to play around that. Fizz is Maya, so I want to call my Mayas. Don't get it twisted. This guy can still trade with me, even though he's one and two. I'm also no flash. Just proc electrocute there. Get a nice little trade. Um, we see a play going out in the top lane, so I'm actually going to E here. Yeah. We can still look. Ah, uh, this might be bad. TBH. Uh, should just run. I don't know if Aring there was actually the best decision. Quite frankly, Zed might have been able to get more damage down to one shot uh, the Riven who has a shutdown. So honestly, my bad, to be honest. Fortunately, we still got a kill onto the volley. So I'm just going to reset here and work towards my crown. Looks like my bot lane kind of popping off. It's one kill under a huge wave. So Make sure to encourage your teammates when they're doing good, guys. Now, I'm going to talk about the trick you can do with versus the Fizz matchup. Basically, the gist of it is if Fizz R's you and you space just enough, if he R's you and you instantly E the opposite direction of Fizz, uh, you will actually create enough space so that he cannot get an EQ combo off when the R knockups goes off. If that makes sense, um, maybe I can um, just ignite the... Oh, that's actually quite bad. Oh, man. Quite honestly, the Zed shouldn't have gone in there with no vision onto Fizz. Here's what it is. I'm just going to reset because I know I can get Dove under tower. Um, I probably have to E back to lane here to catch the wave. So I'm just going to do that. Press C. And I should be only able to miss one. I'm pretty sure this minion will die and I'll grab the cannon. Going to head back into lane here. Now this guy has double buffs. Fizz is starting to come online as he is level 6. So I want to make sure to not die to the Fizz. And hey, hey, we know how the Fizz matchup goes, boys. Fizz gets he fed quite easily, even if it's not your fault. I uh, kind of want to look for this play here. Kiana is quite the enter this game, it looks like. Yep. He's uh, completely running it down versus the Riven. So they're actually going to gank mid here. I'm just going to QW for the extra movement speed. Make sure, guys, if you want to maximize your movement speed on ASOL, make sure to QW, especially if you're trying to avoid a gank. Just use everything. Your Q gives you movement speed, and so does your W. So make sure we're utilizing that uh, in the situations needed. Looks like we're going to lose Rift Tailed here, which is unfortunate. I think I'm just going to play for bot. They are 1-0, kind of dominating the lane. Um, so maybe I can look for... And he's dead. Uh, Lucky. All right, guys. Looks like this is an Aurelian Soul carry game. Oh, looks like they're still continuing to play. I'm actually going to go in here. We see Fizz and Volley here, so we're on a timer. Uh, kind of unlucky that I activated my Q too early. I should have waited till after she flashed. Uh, but then I'm pretty sure it would have been a... Uh... Oh. Okay, looks like this guy wants to go in onto my Soraka. Just gonna R just to execute. Oh man. This guy's definitely looking for an R here. Just gonna zone him off, I think. Oh, here comes the fucking <laughs> Owen for uh Kiana. Looking for a dive here. Oh. Mm. Oh what? Okay, worth. No way that should have worked out, by the way. We're going to dive this uh, Blitz Crank, I think. Okay, guys, play slow. Let's play it smart. Let's not do an NA dive. I'll tank first. Clean. Very, very clean. Good job, guys. And I think we're going to go ahead and grab first tower as well. Clean, clean, clean. 
and a huge win for my team. We're just going to go ahead and press back into reset. They want to paint towards drag here. I think I want to reset first, though. In fact, we have 2k in the bank. We're going to get that nice crown of the Shattered Queen at 13 minutes. Currently 4-0. Um, we want to build Rylai's next, so let's go ahead and grab that. They're actually going to start the dragon. This is looking a little bit risky, but we see Volley Top, so looks like a free dragon to me. And uh, Kiana is just going to go ahead and die. Again, we're insanely fed, so we want to make sure to push our lead to the limit here. We're going to go ahead and take blue from the Zed as well. Try and absolutely 1v9 the game. Remember, guys, you want to stay in the side lane most of the time playing Aurelian Soul as you're a really good uh, pusher, and you can also have your E to uh, go to any play on the map. Just going to hover here. Maybe Fizz decides to go into Draven. Not too sure, though. And I don't think I want to take this Draven CS, so I'm just going to Q the May for him and just back off. Not share experience. Nothing really for me to do on the map right now. I think I'm just going to decide to match the Fizz during this push. When you're playing these kind of games, guys, the close games, right now it's 12 to 11. I'd say we're slightly below uh, behind in gold. Uh, you really want to look at your team, press tab, really study it. What is your win? con in this game i think that i am one of the win cons and i think draven is one of the win cons kiana is just kind of running it down it happens and i think zed can be a neutral party in this i'm not too sure if i can uh yep this kiana is just gonna go ahead and run us down but we're gonna have our monk mental here and just ignore what kiana's doing and just focus on our own gameplay because in fact we cannot control i want to say though i think leandre's this game might have been pretty good since they have volley and riven who builds a lot of extra health but i'm hoping that crown will actually pay off in the end against the is we'll see though but i think honestly if you went leandre's this game it would have been pretty good um would it have been better than crown uh it just kind of depends on the situations if Fizz gets fed uh crown will definitely be worth but if Fizz doesn't really get too strong and it's just riven then probably leandre's but at least we can mitigate damage if Irvin decides to uh flash q on me during a fight can't get a full combo off again look at this guy if i did not have crown this guy would have probably went on me i don't have zanya's as well uh, this guy's out of position i don't know i'm just kind of looking for a play here Kiana is just gonna think this guy is honestly soft in seeing the Kiana. And yeah, we just want to play it safe here. Kind of hard for us to play the game. I'm pretty sure we have to look for a 5v5. Again, a tough game, but we're gonna try and get through it. Our CS is looking pretty juicy this game. I'm thinking top looks like a play here if I find something on the ribbon. I also really want to look for a solo bolo onto this Jinx. Not too sure what her sums are though, unfortunately. Looks like the game tempo has slowed down a little bit. Everyone's just a little bit scared because the game is pretty close. Pretty much whoever wins the next fight has a really good chance of winning the game dragging up in 55 here i think i'm gonna go ahead and reset after i shove one more wave in time for this dragon it's 47 seconds up and i'm just gonna go ahead and reset here now we're pretty freaking close to getting our rylies here i'm thinking maybe we can sell corrupting pot for it yeah i think that's gonna go ahead and be the play here i think i'd rather keep my doran's ring for that extra 70 health and looks like our Zed's just gonna go ahead and run it down here. So I think that's a fat give the dragon, but at least we have our two item power spike here. Maybe we can make something happen. I'm pretty sure they're on drag, but I don't think we can contest at all. We don't have our jungler, so. I mean, quite honestly, I mean, their comp is just 10 times better than our comp. So we'll see how, uh, we'll see how we're gonna be able to deal with this. And looks like our uh, Kiana might fall here. Oh, yep, and uh, they're going to go ahead and try... Oh, my gosh, is he actually going to get out? Okay, a flash from Fizz. <laughs> I have no idea what this Kiana's playstyle is, by the way. If I actually looked up her OP.GG before the game, uh, I think I'll show it on the screen. She actually averaged nine deaths per game on the champion, and it's her most played. Oops, someone's calling for FF. But I think this game is actually winnable. It's definitely going to be hard, but we just have to find a right angle. Oh. So it looks like we're just going to be walked into our jungle here. And Zed's going to go ahead and press that yes to the FF bow. I'm going to EQ to this play here. Maybe I'll ignite the Blitzcrank. Blitzcrank is going to fall for sure. Let's just... Oh, wow. Actually, I kind of unlucky. I get a double kill here. Maybe we can continue the chase, it looks like. They kind of got a little bit trigger happy. I don't think they should have dove us. Uh, we're pinging it for Baron right now. I don't think we have the DPS for this. Uh, but it looks like we're just going to go ahead and freaking flip it, I guess. Uh, I'm going to call play to turn. And I think Riven will die here. And then Fizz should also die. And I think uh, this guy will also die. I'm going to go ahead and flash for that. And really good play by the boys. We get three. Um, I think I'm the win con this game. I do so much damage and... 
Honestly, it's quite hard to, to kill me. We're actually going to get a nice, fat, juicy back here as well. Okay, I mean, we're going to take the scuttle. I'm just going to eat out of here. Go ahead and reset. I'm out of here. And Zed should be able to get out as well, so... Good job, boys. I think the buy here is actually... We're going to go ahead and get that juicy Mejize as well as a stopwatch. And I think we can sell this and start working towards our uh, Zanyas. Or actually, we're actually just going to go and try to build Shadow Flame. What I like to do is build stopwatch and then move on to the next item. And then once I use stopwatch, we can start building towards um, our third item. Okay, we should look to do something with Baron here. Um, I think A-Ramming is honestly the move here. We do have Zanyas, so make sure to remember that I have Zanyas. Um, I think we should honestly just siege. They're looking to burn my crown, though, so I want to stay back. And looks like Fizz is actually going to look for something pretty huge. And they're just going to go get one shot here. Maybe I can E towards here vertically. And I should be able to pick up that guy. Um, I don't think I'll be able to catch the Blitzcrank, though, unfortunately. And we're just going to go ahead and keep running it down to mid. We're at 8 0 right now. Um, I think we can play for Inhib, probably, right? Uh, yeah, it looks like we'll probably just play for Inhib here. And then uh, probably uh, Dragon after. So let's just go ahead and reset. And honestly, this guy kind of ended. Oh, my mistake. My bad. I should have probably not gone for that. Let me just get a reset here before Dragon. Um, I have to be here on time. Let me ping towards that. Uh, I can't really quite get anything. I'm just going to go ahead and get on the map again. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get anything. Kind of sad. I believe that they're actually going to go for a contest here. So let me just see what they decide to do here. Nice little... And I think we should just reset after that, farm up, wait for my Shadow Flame. I'm going to grab this blue buff here. Now, it's really important that I do not die here with 18 Mejai stacks and a 700 gold shutdown as we 100% want to carry the game here. Now, I think I'm looking for this Shadow Flame. I think Shadow Flame here is actually the best because they have multiple shields with Riven and Volibear. Also, the item is just very cost efficient, very good. I think I want to get mid prior while they're looking for a bot play. E is not up. Have to keep that in mind. I don't know. I feel like we might lose the scaling game, if I'm being honest. They want to siege bot here. They're looking for something. We should definitely just look for a bot tower here. I'm kind of scared. I don't know where... Uh... Okay. Oh, who's winning that one of you on top, by the way? Okay, we want to make sure to peel the frick out of our... Uh... We're gonna E in here, maybe get a nice little value. I think our ribbon our jinx should also die. Let's go, boys! And an easy triple kill. Um, that's one thing you guys can do too. Gap close is just E if you're not in con if you're not in uh as you see, Draven is calling for that mid gap. I think we might be able to win here. What a banger of a game. 11 0 and 7. I think we should be able to go deathless here. And uh, honestly, this is looking like a quite a good video. I'm pretty hyped. Uh, let's just try to commit to end here. And uh, yeah. Auto, 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 auto. Ribbon's going to be in the top side. We're going to end the game. I'll pop my Zanyas. And that's going to be it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want more of these videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.